What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So, yeah, in our last episode, we finally started our adventure right here in Alpha Sapphire. A new, uh, you know, new remake of the Pokemon series and all that stuff, and uh, obviously this is one of my favorite of the remakes because, you know, it includes a lot of stuff, just a lot. I mean, a lot of great stuff. It includes Mega Evolution, something that, you know, has been lost for quite some time too, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we need to bring that back, Nintendo, if you can. Anywho, here we are in Little Root Town, and, well, let's go right ahead and see our mama, because, well, she must be wondering where we're at. And there she is, and she's going to be like, uh, you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, we're going to be resting. So I guess, I guess she has to look out for us. Like, she has to actually look for us to uh, leave, so let's go right ahead and get the F out of here, and, well, bam. Draven, wait! Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there she is. Draven, Draven, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your father's child, all right? You look uh, good together with a Pokemon. Dot, dot, dot. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your Pokemon will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If any, if anything happens, you can always come home, honey. That's right. Our mama, always loving. She will always care for us. Yes. She will love us. And, well, she's giving one last glance at us before we move on. And, well, it is time for us to move on to Little Root Town. And, well, here we have a, uh, well, somebody's yelling at our name. He's like, Draven! Hmm. Okay, and, well, here's our girlfriend, May. And she's going to be like, this is for my dad. He said he forgot to give you this before. And we get ourselves a PokéNav Plus, which, of course, it updates. The DexNav function has now been added to our PokéNav Plus. The app that I just added on your PokéNav Plus is called a DexNav. It can tell you lots about a Pokémon living in the, each area and uh, the, that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch a lot of different Pokémon. Alright, gets us about time. I'll use my DexNav to do some more ca Pokémon catching myself. Draven, you should use those Pokéballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. Whatever you say, homegirl. So, let's see. Now, what she's talking about is, well, I gotta get my little trusty pen right here because, well, we need to do this. So, the Dex Nab is right here. We're gonna be switching it out. This will map out every Pokemon that you've encountered in every route. Eventually, you'll have a crown by either gold, bronze, or platinum where it says how many Pokemon you've caught or if you've caught every single one of them. Now, the silhouette right there gives you an idea of what Pokemon you can actually find. Once you've discovered that Pokemon, you can press on that Pokemon again, and you can look for even rarer Pokemon on coming out with the star rating. Not only that, but if it has an exclamation point, yes, it will tell you about some kind of rarities it may have. It may be, you know, rare stats, it may have some rare, uh, let's see, rare moves. You know, you, you guys will see. I'm probably going to be doing some catching off screen. So, the first thing is first, we're going to be going straight up, and well, May's gonna be looking at us. She's gonna be like, Draven, over here. Okay, so the first rare Pokemon we're gonna be looking at is a Poochiana right here, okay? There is a rarity to this Pokemon. See that? Right there, there's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Hmm. And look here, if you check your Poke or your Dex Nab, all right, it looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move too. So, let's see. She's gonna be looking at us like, Draven. Try getting closer and real nice and slow. Push slightly on the circle pad to sneak close to the Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it that's what it said in a book I read. Okay, so we're sneaking, we're sneaking. You're almost there! Slowly, slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Okay, so let's go ahead and press that button right there. So there is a Pokemon right in front of us. And we gotta sneak slowly to this Pokemon. If we start to increase our speed, obviously, the Pokemon will run away. Now, this Poochiana, alongside... Well, any Pokemon, any Poochiana that you encounter first with Mei, will have a special move. It all depends on the Pokemon that you've started with. So, let's, for an instance, I started with Chikorita, or no, not Chikorita, with Torchic right here. Poochiana is expected to have Ice Fang. If you started off with, what was it, uh, with Trico, Poochiana will have Fire Fang. If you have Mudkip, Poochiana will have Thunder Fang. 
So, yeah, make sure, you know, you, you can capture this Pokemon, you can find them, but it's going to be very, very rare to actually find an extra one with the same kind of move and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here. There's the Ice Fang, very rare move. Eventually, you're going to see right onto the side that, yes, you can actually capture this Pokemon. You can actually see, well, you can actually see what kind of move, what kind of rare move this Pokemon might have. So, what we're going to do is we're going to capture this Pokemon. We got 10 Pokeballs in all. Let's go right ahead and do it. Alrighty. There's one. There's two. There's three. That's right. Throwing out the peace sign. What now? Okay. So we got ourselves Poochiana. And just like in Pokemon X and Y, you can actually grow your Pokemon's levels by just capturing Pokemon. So let's go right ahead. And take a look at this Poochiana right here. First Pokemon caught. Here it is, Poochiana, the bite Pokemon. Male, dark type Pokemon. Not that tall, but as you guys can see, Poochiana is an omnivore. It will eat anything. A distinguishing feature is how large its fangs are compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making the hair on its uh, tail bristle out. You're not that intimidating. We're going to keep you because, well, you know, we're going to keep you. Okay, so we cut ourselves Poochiana, and as you guys can see, its silhouette now turns into Poochiana, and you can actually locate better Poochianas from here on in. Uh, there comes a part where, like, you, I guess you can do some chain capturing, which leads to, you know, rare, uh, shiny Pokemon and all that stuff, so uh, just keep an eye out for all that crud. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Poochiana, the dark type Pokemon. Look at that. It has Ice Fang, and it does have Quick Feet as a, uh, as a, what was it, as, a, as an ability. So this boosts its speed stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. So if it's poisoned, burned, paralyzed, you know, we are the king of paralysis. Yes, this Pokemon will, will increase that stuff. And, well, that's the only thing that's, a uh, yeah, that's the only thing that's, uh, you know, special about this Poochiana. We're not going to keep him on our team, but it's nice to actually have this Pokemon now. Let's go ahead and talk to our girlfriend. She's like, "That was amazing, Draven. I've been in this. I've been at this way longer than you, and I've even have a hard time sneaking up like like that without being noticed." Well, it's all in the thumb, baby. It's all in the thumb. So uh, let's go right ahead and move on to route or to Old Dale Town. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, and we're healed up and ready to go. It is finally time for us to get the heck out of here. Let's move on to the next route. Yes. The next route is Route 102, and this is a very special route because, well, look at this. You're going to be looking at some Pokemon. Look at that, some Wingles. Yes, we're going to be looking at some Pokemon here, capturing them, being some uh, getting some unorthodox ones. And, well, our first Pokemon that we're looking at right here is this guy, Zigzagoon. Now, kind of need to tell you guys a little something about this. So, Zigzagoon... In, I, I would like to say, Generation 6 and beyond, or Generation 3, doesn't really matter. I would suggest capturing one and keeping one on your team because it can learn any kind of HM. And on top of that, if you get the Pokemon or the, the, the Technique uh, pickup, yes, it will become easier for you to, you know, grab some rare items and all that stuff. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to capture some Pokemon, do some things, be the man that we should be in this whole thing, make it a little funner and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and throw that Pokeball. Let's get it. Throw that Pokeball at it. And... Well, there's one, there's two, and there's three. I am throwing out that peace sign right here. Yes, peace sign. Okay. Has that ever happened where I threw a peace sign and it just failed? Quite a few times, guys. Quite a few times. It's bound to happen here. So, here we have Zigzagoon, second one we've encountered. It is the tiny raccoon Pokemon. This, this, uh, the hair on the Zigzagoon's back is bristly. It rubs the hard, hard back hair against trees to leave its territorial markings. This Pokemon may play dead to full uh, foes in battle. And, well, we're not going to nickname this Pokemon because, well, you know, it's not going to be part of our team. There are going to be Pokemon that will be on our team, that were on our team, we will be using, and this guy already has an item. Holy crud. Let's see. Oh, it has gluttony. Makes the poke. Oh, wow. Okay, so we caught the wrong Zigzagoon. Well, that's unfortunate. Eventually, we will get one, but as you guys can see, this Zigzagoon has gluttony. Makes the Pokemon use a held barrier earlier than usual. 
And it, it is carrying a revive, so that right there, I'm gonna take that. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Zigzagoon. Let's move on right here. Let's go ahead and uh, start battling some Pokemon trainers, like this little trainer right here. Now, it's funny. What we're using right here, guys, as a capture card is an old school, well, now it's old school, but an old school capture card for the Nintendo DS uh, or 3DS. Many of you guys don't remember, but you can, there was a business out there that you can actually send your 3DS so they can install a capture card. They can modify it and all that stuff. It's a mod. And there were two different kinds. One being an online one where you didn't need a cable just to install and all that stuff. And uh, there's the one with the cable. My opinion, for me, the cable actually works. The one with the cable actually works better because, well, shoot. You're going, you're going on, the, on the one with the internet. It's going to lag. And you're going to have to find the right settings. And if you have a roommate or something like that using... Whatever kind of internet uh, bandwidth you have, it's going to cause trouble. It's going to lag. You guys probably seen it in my Pokemon X, my Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby walkthrough where my stuff was lagging. Yeah, it's too much work. It really is. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a Lotad. And I think this is a Pokemon I want to actually grab. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy right here. Like I said before, guys, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to be capturing some Pokemon using some different types of Pokemon. And, well, look at this. We got a Teeter Dance. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, let's go right ahead and use a Pokeball. I'm probably not going to throw out the peace sign, but I kind of want to. So let's go right ahead and throw out that peace sign. That's right. Throwing out that peace sign. That's right. <laughs> okay, so there is another Pokemon we've just captured. And it is low dead, and because of that, we grow to level 9. Yes, sir. And let's go right ahead and take a look at this low Ted right here. So, as you guys can see, here we have low Ted, the waterweed Pokemon. The low Ted is said to have dwelled on land before. However, this Pokemon is thought to have uh, returned to water because of the leaf on its head grew large and heavy. It now lives floating atop of the water. And, yes, we're going to be giving this Pokemon a nickname because, well, this guy will be helping us going into, you know, the next few gyms and all that stuff, or the next gym. So, everybody, say hello to our good buddy, Ole. That's how you spell it, with the little swoosh on the top of the E right there. Ole. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Ole. Let's see. So, here it is. Ole has a swift swim, a swift swim, tried to say that quite a few times, uh, the technique. It boosts up its speed in the rain. Now, here's a little something, uh, <laughs> yeah, its speed is, its, uh, its nature is affecting its speed, so I kind of probably need to change that. This is the reason why we got the whole, like, you know, deck snap, because we can change up the Pokemon right here. So, here we have a teeter dance, a growl. And it has a quiet nature. So, yes, best believe, guys, that we are going to be changing up Pokemon because, well, I've become a little more professional on uh, what kind of Pokemon I need and all that. <laughs> all right, Matt, I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Now, here's another thing, too, guys. Um, let's see. We do not have the speed button. I, I do know that, you know, there are there is an emulator for, you know, the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, not going to put so many emulators onto my computer since we've already gotten quite a few of them. You know, some of them we still need to get work on and all that stuff. But yes, we, yeah, we, 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 we need, like, I like this better because, you know, it's up to speed. I get it. You know, we like to use the speed button just to fasten everything. But for some games, certain games that we actually play or, you know, certain battles that we get to, there might be a chance where we actually just skip on. Ah, crap baskets. That would have... Well, that's the first one right there. Is this Pokemon trainer going to battle me? And, yes, a whole bunch of pack Pokemon. But, yes, for, you know, the Nintendo 3DS, we're going to just... We're going to actually... What was it called? Uh, we're going to... We're going to take a pause on the whole speed button thing. And we're just going to be skipping on ahead for some stuff right here. Because, well, you know, you guys already seen it in my Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough and all that. Some important stuff we will not skip. But every battle is going to be up to speed. The same old speed. If anything, I might just, you know, use the ability to speed up the battle while while I'm editing this whole thing right here. And, well, look at this. Coming out with a Talo. We're not going to do anything. 
<laughs> Let's go, Tommy. Right here, Tommy JDF. And like I said before, because of the Dex Nab, we're gonna try and capture some Pokemon, some of the same Pokemon that have better abilities because, well, kinda wanna build up a team, beginning team, a middle team, and then towards the end, that team that will do things. And well, we learned Sand Attack. That is always great. And, well, let's see what's gonna happen right here. Let's go ahead and grab these berries. Look at this, this is a first time for everything. Grabbed ourselves two Pekka Berries, or Pecha Berries, Pecha Berries, I don't even know. And, well, we're not going to plant a berry just yet. And, let's go ahead and grab this two Orin Berries right here. And, look at that. Okay, alrighty. Two Orin Berries, and, well, let's see. I think there is one more trainer right here, but before we battle her, we always forget this item. Grab this, found ourselves a Potion. Always nice, and, well... Let's go ahead and battle her. Let's go ahead. Alrighty. So, another thing too, guys. There are going to be Pokemon that are going to be returning. Pokemon that I just can't live without. They're going to be on the team because, well, you know, depending on the Pokemon I got. Yeah, it's something that I really, really, really would like to use here. Especially now since, you know, the Fairy type has been in, a, in effect. So, yes, you guys already have an idea who I want to get. The thing is, I got to get two of those little bastards. Yeah. Gotta get two of them because we also got eh, more evolutions out there. Which many of you guys already know, yes, we're gonna be breeding. We're gonna be doing a lot of battles. Doing a lot of breeding. Doing a lot of capturing. Doing a lot of stuff here. A lot of informational stuff. And, well, we have defeated her. And, well, before we do anything else, May is gonna be looking at us. And she's like, hey! How's it going, Draven? Have you been using your Dex Nab and perfecting your sneaking skills? I hope you already checked out the Dex Nav's detector mode. It reacts to a Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. Oh, would you look at this? And, huh. Hmm. Well, look at this. Holy buckets. Look up there. Check them out, Draven. And look at that. We got some butterflies just flying up there into the horizon. Look at that. It's a preview of what's to come. Look at that. Beautiful Pokemon. Those were beautiful, weren't they? I'll have to check my deck stab later to be sure. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. Oh, I, there's a Petalburg already. Draven, your dad. He's the gym leader in the Petalburg uh, city, isn't he? Maybe I should try and take, on, take him on myself once I train up my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'm off then, Draven. Let's meet up again sometime. Whatever you say, baby. Whatever you say. And, well, our Dex Nav is going to be looking at it. And, yes, it is a beautiful eye. And I think you can actually look at it through the Pokedex now. I mean, yeah. Okay, so we've seen nine of these Pokemon. And, well, yeah. Okay, so you can actually see it. Eventually, I'm going to be stuffing this whole Pokedex full of Pokemon that, you know, we've we've already seen. So, here we are in the Petalburg City. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Pokemon back because, well, I didn't like the ones that I captured. Yeah. Yeah. Draven's becoming one of those guys. And uh, we'll be back with the events of uh, our daddy and Wally and all that stuff. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. So, here we are back, guys. And, well, we're going to be going straight to the Petalburg City Gym because our daddy's going to be there. And, whoa, there he is waiting for us outside. Not bad. It was a good battle. Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna be I'm gonna do some special training with my Pokemon, then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. Look at that, he's a giver. He's a man of the people, and hmm. Why, if it isn't Draven. So you finished moving in. I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around here talking. Do you wanna come in for a bit? We could talk about the gym. Or talk in the gym. Alrighty, okay. So, here we are. You know, I was I was sure surprised that you managed to get out here by yourself. <laughs> I see, you're making a good start to your team. Mm-hmm. Then I guess you're going to become the trainer like me, Draven. Now, that's something to look forward to. And right when the whole thing happens, here is a little somebody. He's like, mm, uh, excuse me, I'd like to get my own Pokemon, please. And look at it, it's Wally. Hmm. Aren't you... You're Wally, right? 
Yes, I'm supposed to stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town for a while, but I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring a Pokemon with me. But I've never caught a Pokemon by myself. I'm not sure if I can. Mm-hmm. I see. Draven, you heard all that, right? You go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally here. I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. You see, my dad's a man of the people. Man of everything. Just like my, you know, my real-life dad. He's a man of the people. He's always angry, but still a man of the people. And, well, of course, he's getting the Pokeball. Thank you, Mr. Norman. And look how shy he is. Wow, he just looks shy, and he just looks like, you know, he needs some confidence, you know. L yeah, I'll make you into a man right here. Um, Draven, will you, or you will, you, you will come with me, right? Yes, I will. All right, time to... Time to put some hair in those peaches. Let's go. Let's make you into a man. Find you a proper Pokemon. Draven! Pokemon hide in all uh, tall grass like this, don't they? He's finding himself a Pokemon. He's like, please, stay there and watch. Uh, and see if I can catch one properly. Looking around and whoa! And just like this. WTF. He catches himself, or he finds himself a, gr a friggin' Ralts. Okay, I'm a little angry about that because, well, you know, Ralt is the Switch, or the Swiss Army Knife, and yes, I am thinking of capturing one. I don't care what anybody says, guys. This Pokemon right here is the is the bomb when it comes to, you know, just having a proper Pokemon, a, a, a reliable Pokemon. So, he's battling with this guy right here, and, well, Ralt is, uh, you know, using Grawl because, you know, it doesn't really have any kind of moves right now. And Zigzagoon is not doing anything, so Wally's gonna be throwing a Pokeball. All right, Wally, go right ahead, capture this Pokemon, make me feel or make me look bad in front of my dad, because well, shoot, you know everybody does. And here comes a Pokeball, and just like that, oh my God, there it is. So he caught himself a Ralts. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dad. Thanks a lot. Anywho. So he's captured himself a Ralts. He's like, I did it. It's my own Pokemon. Thank you so much, Draven. Let's head back to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. See, make him look bad. Just like that. So, did it go well? Yes, it did. Thank you. Let me give you back your Pokemon, sir. And you, Draven. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you that I was, uh, the YouTube that I was able to catch Ralts. My very own Ralts. I always, always treasured it. Oh, I know. It's not much to ask, or it's not much of a thank you, but, uh, Draven, would you let me see your Pokemon Plus for a second? Okay, that, and, um, there. And just like that, we get ourselves another update to the Pokemon Plus. It's called the Play Nav Features. And yes, we are now enabled to actually get the internet on this little bastard right here. I read a book and uh, I read in the book how you could use the play nav to take care of your Pokemon and train them. And there's supposed to be this thing called the PSS where you can meet up with Pokemon or other p trainers and battle friends more. I wanted to have my own Pokemon for so long and do all those things kind of together. So I've had all these uh, kinds of apps installed on my Pokemon Plus for ages. Embarrassing, huh? I'm going to try my best together with Ralts. You do your best too, Draven. Oh, but my mom's waiting for me. I've got to get going. I hope we I hope we'll meet again, Draven. And you too, Mr. Norman. Okay. So homeboy is a uh, homeboy is leaving. He's like, "Hmm. That boy will be worth uh, keeping an eye on." But for now, Draven, if you want to become strong trainer as a, or if you want to become as, as strong as a trainer, listen to my advice. First head to Rusbro City, which lies beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokémon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect the badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day, but that will only be after you become stronger, Draven. Okay, so that right there concludes our little episode right here. You know what? Let's go ahead and step outside just in case if anything pops up because, you know, it's been a while since I've played this and uh, there's nothing. So, yes, this has been our episode. Off screen, I will be capturing some Pokemon. Hell, even uh, a Ralts here and there. I might not even show it. I don't even know, but yes. Yeah. This has been our second episode, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going through the next route. Which, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's see. What's the next route right here? So the next route will be... 
Let's see, Route 104 all the way to the Petalburg Woods, going up to Rustboro City. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff, guys, capturing a lot of Pokemon, being awesome as always. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and as patient as possible. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.